How's it going, everyone? Welcome, welcome. How are you doing today? Today, we're going to be talking about one of my favorite albums of the year. I don't usually do album reviews, but I'm a big fan of Slim Shady, Eminem, Marshall Mathers. So I thought I would do a top five song listing from this new album, The Death of Slim Shady, Coupe de Gras, and currently my top five albums from Eminem. So without further ado, let's get it. So let's go over my top five songs from this album, starting with number five. I would have to say Temporary, a song that caught me completely off guard. And this man was in tears. I don't know why. It just hit a certain spot in my heart. And I was like, damn, I felt that moment of, you know, someone leaving you a note, someone leaving you a song when they die. So you can listen to them when they are gone. It's something that just hit my heart. I don't know if it was because Skylar Gray was going off on that chorus, but or like the sound bites of like past Eminem and Haley way back in the day and the recordings of that. I was like, dang, that's emotional. So that hit me in the heart feels. <laughs> so that is my number five. It had to make it on the list because it touched my heart in some type type of way, you know. <laughs> uh, it was a good song and had to make the top five for me just because it hit that certain something inside. All right, number four has to be Antichrist. Just uh, the delivery and the switch up of that song. Bizarre at the end. Uh, it, it was something. It, it was a good song. So it, it definitely had to be on the top five. So it is my number four. Number three for me, it has to be Renaissance. Eminem has a certain way with having these awesome intros his last album had some great intros and this album did not uh, falter in that way it was definitely like the slim shady the nasally vibe of the old eminem you heard that through those lyrics and you heard that through the flow so it's a it's a first song on the album that i will never skip he just went in and i was super pumped to hear it i was like dang i got some chills when i first heard it it, it was definitely great. And number two, Guilty Conscience, number two. <laughs> this happened to land on number two. Guilty Conscience, number two. Guilty Conscience, number one is a classic. Guilty Conscience, number two kind of reminds me of like Evil Twin back in, I think, Shady's like Relapse album. So it was, it was awesome to hear that back and forth with Eminem and himself, like Eminem and Shady going back and forth and them combining together. And then like reverting away from one another and ultimately ending Slim Shady, quote unquote, ending Slim Shady. Um, it was this a song that was built up by that time you got to that point in the album. So it was a great one for me. All right. So number one, I would have to go Fuel featuring Jid, J-I-D, uh, a song that they just both went hard on. You get <laughs> pause on that. They both went in on. They just lyrically both of them went all out both of them went insane with the lyrics and it was just something that you got to jam every time you hear that song so it deserved that number one spot and eminem <laughs> towards p diddy and those like lyrics and how he broke that down with sa and so many meanings of the word sa you got to get to some shady's like vision and penmanship it just went absolutely bonkers jid did his thing as well great song had to be my number one also an honorable mention for head honcho with easy mill and eminem that song went hard too so i had if it if temporary didn't hit the feels like it did it would have been number, my number five but temporary just had to be on my top five hopefully uh you guys could agree let me know what your top five is also let's go over my top five albums from eminem currently so far so this is how i'm gonna break it down the Slim Shady and Marshall Mathers LP has to be tied at number one for me. You can't put those on one or two. They have to be like solidified at number one for me. That's where I have them. That's where I have them taking place. Number two would have to be the Eminem show. Number three, I would have to go with this album, The Death of Slim Shady. Those three albums in front of it, Marshall Mathers, Slim Shady LP, and Eminem show are just classics. And I don't think they could be dethroned in any way the death of some shady coupe de gras has to be up there i think it's better than his last album uh the music to be murdered by was a great a side b side album it's uh it's up there for me he went in it was like kind of like the old some shady coming back and just doing what he does best but this i think takes the cake for me so this is my number three uh my number four will have to be encore encore is uh the vintage slim going at it 
one one of the greater albums out there encore goes hard and uh it's definitely in that growing up age for me here in that album it just went in uh encore has to be up there for me and then the most recent one i would go kamikaze album that i mean just went in on lyrically the beats were fire i enjoy that album a lot i usually go back to that album quite often because those songs on those albums go in and i just love the flow and like his delivery on that album for me personally so let me know your top five albums also from eminem if you are a fan at all so that's gonna wrap it up hopefully you guys enjoyed this video a little bit different from my gaming but i just had to do it's been four years since eminem dropped an album well like three and a half years since he dropped this last album so love you guys to death savers and stay rising until next time Peace. <laughs>